Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, November the 17th, 2020, and this is episode 3417. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Pressing. Stay tuned. Pressing. Does life seem to be pressing in on you? (laughs) My wife sent me a picture from the grocery store yesterday where, yes, the paper products are being <laughs> are being lifted away. They're empty. I hope you have plenty of paper products. It's a pressing situation, right? The word pressing requiring quick or immediate action <laughs> or attention. We're facing pressing situations, are we not? But let me encourage you today during these pressing times that we need to be pressing into God and his word. How important is God's word to you? You see, when we humble ourselves before the Bible, God's word, scripture, acknowledging that that it's been given to us by God, we will receive incredible blessings. I'm going to share some of those with you today, but my encouragement to you and I today in the midst of these pressing times that we're living in, that it should be a motivation for us to press in to God's word. Why? Well, first of all, God's word leads us to salvation. Although many of us came to Christ by hearing about him from another person, the way of salvation is clearly revealed when you read the scripture. John 3.16, Romans 10.9, Titus 3.5, Ephesians 2.8-9, right? We're all saved by believing the truth of scripture, whether you read it yourselves or somebody shared it with you. The Bible guides our steps. Psalm 119.105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. If we press in to God's word, he'll show us where to go, what to say, how to make decisions. Pressing into God's word will give you wisdom. Psalm 119, 130 says, The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Scripture is our greatest protection. It's like a shield before us, guarding our way and warning of danger. But if we neglect to press into God's word, we won't be able to distinguish right from wrong. Pressing into God's word lifts our burden, right? Because the Lord is interested in every aspect of our lives, we can run to his word in our pain, in our grief, our loneliness, our sickness. Pressing into God's word brings joy. If you press into the word, you'll find great joy in reading it. When facing tough situations and discouragement, let your first response be to press into scripture. Even if you don't know where to read, God will guide you to a passage that can restore your hope and your joy. And then finally, pressing in to God's word during pressing times gives peace. Perhaps the most desired possession in the world is peace, but it can only be found in the Lord. Those who love your law have great peace and nothing causes them to stumble. That's Psalm 119, 165. Peace means to be bound to something. And when that something is the word of God, We're bound to him and experience God's peace. 
May I just encourage you today in these pressing times to make sure that you're spending time every day pressing in to God's Word. Oh, Father, I thank you, Father, for the Word that I've already read this morning, and I'm looking forward, Lord, to reading more. I pray, Father, that you would help us all to press into you, that that would be one of our primary goals every day to get direction and wisdom and peace and hope in Jesus name amen our website is morningmana.com my email address bruce turner at gmail.com thanks for listening thanks for subscribing and thanks for sharing till tomorrow morning this is bruce reminding you to choose joy